Be careful. If anyone's even a little suspicious of us, they'll report us immediately. Right. It's not just Snake Eyes we need to watch out for, but other Denons too. Still, there are a fair amount of people out on the streets. Isn't it safer to stay at home? That's the thing. If you stay cooped up too long, people start to suspect you're hiding something. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. So people feel like they have no choice but to turn others in so they don't get in trouble. What a miserable way to live. At the very least, we should probably go someplace where there aren't so many... Ah, uh, Shion! We already stick out here like a sore thumb as it is. So I think it's better if we just walk confidently out in the open. Don't look anxious. Just walk firmly and look like you have a destination in mind. What, is sticking to the plan too much of a hassle for her? This is why Renans are the worst. I don't know if it's a Renan thing or not, but she does have a point. Anyway, we're not gonna get anywhere just standing around. Let's follow after her. Everybody walking around looks so depressed. Can you blame them? It... Hey! Uh. Hey. Hmm? Why you... Huh? Why you... Sorry. spirit vessel. I thought as much. So they're pumping it full of light. No, not light. Astral energy. Of course. No wonder this realm's so dark. It's as though there's a pall over the sky even during the day. Except it isn't dark. Not really. The light's just being diverted. Diverted? Suck up all the light, and all that's left over is darkness. What's the difference? Darkness exists as an actual element of astral energy, just like light does. Didn't you know that? <clears throat> Let me break it down for you. Astral energy exists as different elements. There's earth, water, fire, and wind, as well as light and darkness. But dark astral energy only exists on Rena, and light astral energy on Dana. So dark energy isn't harvested as part of the crown contest. She's right. It's the same reason why I can't wield dark energy, and similarly, why no Renans can use light energy either. The only exception to that rule on the Renan end is likely the Lord here, who has the Light Master Core. Whatever the case, it looks like they're collecting light here the same way they were fire back in Calaglia. From what I hear, 
There used to be a proper day and night cycle in Cislodia ages ago, but apparently, over the last 300 years, the darkness spread from Cisloden and covered the whole realm. That's crazy. I can't believe the Renans found a way to steal even our own damn light. We shouldn't linger. Let's keep moving before someone spots us. Wandering around blindly is getting us nowhere. The Snake Eyes have the information we need, but we can't just ask for it. So what if we sneak in and take it instead? I wasn't aware you knew how to be sneaky. Uh, hey, look over there! That's Zephyr's son. Law. I don't know. Something doesn't feel right about all this. Are you kidding? He's practically gift-wrapped for us. Hey, what are you? <sighs> I remember you. What do you want? We don't mean you any harm. We just want to talk quietly. Deal? Make it quick. Where are you keeping Zephyr? Uh, uh, We're here to rescue him. Uh, why? What do you mean, why? Isn't he your father? Oh yeah, easy to forget that. After he abandoned me. Abandoned? It's the truth. All my old man ever cared about was sticking it to the Bright Eyes. He never even made it to Mom's funeral. So you become an agent for the local lord? You got a problem with that? You're not exactly one to talk, keeping company with a Renin woman. You think you know her, but wait until she has a choice between you and her people. I may have become an agent for the Renins. But at least I'm here trying to soothe the agony of my people from the inside. What's your excuse? I don't buy it. No. You're running because you're scared. You think you're the only one who's had to suffer? What the hell do you know, you- <laughs> What the- Damn you! Word to the wise, people like you Enough. make me- Look, I don't know what happened between you and your father, but what I do know is that when you fought back at the village, he wouldn't raise a hand to strike you. Uh. I've never seen Zephyr back down from a fight, but he could never hurt his own son. And when he said he was staying behind, I think it was because he wasn't willing to abandon you. If you know anything, then tell us. Please! I... I don't know where they're keeping my dad now. All I've heard is that they're going to publicly execute him. In the plaza in front of headquarters. Execute? Thank you. You did the right thing. Why are you so determined to help my father? Zephyr is the reason I took up the sword. He taught me how to think for myself. And I want to learn more. If they're going to execute him in the plaza, then it'll be too dangerous for us to go alone. Let's ask Menik. He should be able to sneak us in. Sounds good to me. 
Let's have a chat with him. So, I get that you perform a certain type of astral arts, but why does your magic look so different from what Renan's use? Is it a different source or something? I'm not exactly an expert on how Renan's cast magic, but we both manipulate astral energy to create it. We just channel that energy in different ways. Like how you chant your spells, whereas they throw out those weird symbols? Yeah, and just like how there are different ways to use a sword. There are elemental differences between us two. For example, light is only in Dana, and darkness is only in Rena. Ah, all right, that makes sense. So let me ask, does that mean you can't use any dark magic at all? Or that they're just more attuned to it? Basically not at all. Since I don't have any dark energy inside my body, there might be an indirect way to tap into it, but I wouldn't know. I didn't learn everything that my family knew about magic, so it's hard for me to say for sure. Fair enough. Thanks for teaching me all that. I really do appreciate it. Sure thing. So, you made it back in one piece. No promising leads unearthed on this end, I'm afraid. It may take a little longer. We got our own lead, but it's not good. They're planning to execute Zephyr in the plaza in front of the Snake Eyes headquarters. And soon. They're going to what? I've never known them to move so fast. They must believe he poses a grave threat. We have to break him out. We could really use your help. Not gonna be easy, but I'm sure we can think of something. If they're staging it in the plaza, there's bound to be an announcement beforehand, which means if we can... S Snake Eyes! They've got us surrounded! Damn! I knew we shouldn't have trusted! Save it! In position, everyone! Repel them! Use us, Menek. We've got your back. No. You need to get out of here now. Rinwell, you know what to do. Underground waterway to the rear. On it. But... No discussions. You didn't make it this far for it to end here. We'll be fine. We just have to buy you a little time. I'll send word later. Now get going already! So this passage runs beneath the whole city, huh? Pretty clean for a Dan and sewer. Are you sure it's safe down here, Rinwell? It's our emergency evacuation route, so it should be. You sure it's as secret as you think? We can use this chance to clear the way for Menek and the others when they follow. Let's go! Enemies show up the moment we do. Are we the reason for it? We we can puzzle over it later. We gotta run! Any arts wielders, let me know.
Will do. Much obliged. That's my cue. Shut him down. Michael, Do it, Well, we're on the home stretch now. Don't take your eyes off the clock. I'm quite aware without you reminding me. I wonder if we... We can make new weapons with this. Let's dispose of the trash. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart to your heart's content. We want that by a mile. As if it wasn't weird enough getting into the city through that hole. Why are there so many passages like this around Sisloden? And it doesn't seem like the Snake Eyes use them to get around without being detected, either. Yeah, they don't look like ruins. Do you have any idea, Rinwell? These passages are sewers. They're underground so the water doesn't freeze, but they're not really unusual in big cities like this one. Really? Is there nothing like these back in Calaglia? Not as far as I know. In Calaglia, anything they wanted to get rid of, like waste or garbage, was simply burned. Including the bodies of dead slaves. I'm not sure why they did that. Maybe it was another way of getting astral energy out of them. <sighs> Sorry, that took a dark turn, didn't it? I have to be, in this world. Don't worry, I've got your back. Like it could be worth something. Right? 
Yes, Alfin. Very bad. Well, we're on the home stretch now. Don't take your eyes off the prize. I'm quite aware without you reminding me. I feel stronger. I mean, a bit. Good. We're counting on you, Rinwell. On me? Well, I'll do my best. done. away from a battle.
Looks like we found our mystery resident. The Snake Eyes must have kept it here in case of intruders. We can't let it slow us down. Let's finish it and keep moving. I wasn't expecting something so big. They want to make sure we don't leave. Then we'll just have to beat it. For everyone's sake.
You okay? Bregan? What are you doing here? When I heard the Snake Eyes had attacked, I figured you'd probably be headed this way sooner or later. Come on, it won't be long before they sniff us out. We need to find safer ground. What about the others we left behind? Minnick can handle himself. Have a little faith. Come on, follow me. I hear a voice. <gasps> Somebody's asking for help. Hmm? Hmm. Stay sharp. We're going in. <laughs> Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? How many of these hideouts do you guys have exactly? Enough. You can never be too careful these days. We even keep some of them secret from each other. So long as you don't let anyone tail you, you're welcome to use them as you please. So what's our plan of action? We're still going to rescue Zephyr, right? That goes without saying. If only we knew where he was, we could... Hey! You're gonna want to see this! Found guilty of all charges. The Calaglian dissident will forthwith be executed in witness of His Excellency Lord Ganabelt. Clause 2 of the Special Curfew Act has been initiated with immediate effect throughout the realm. All Danans not involved in special duties or corrective labor must remain indoors until further notice and watch the execution broadcast. Any citizens found in breach of this protocol will be arrested as dissidents. This is a direct order. 
Repeat, this is a Do you think they're talking about your friend? But I thought... But Law said... I thought we had days, not hours. Looks like it's been brought forward. Just hold on. Where do you think you're going? We don't even have a plan yet. Screw the damn plan! If we don't leave now, Zephyr's going to be murdered! Alpin, we've got to go. The clock's ticking. <sighs> we've all got to go some way, I guess. We'll join up with you afterwards. We might be able to create a diversion. Good idea. Let's go. We have to get to the plaza. What's going on? Why did the execution get moved up? Calm down. We don't know enough to say what's going on here. <sighs> We've got no way of knowing what happened. Is the execution in there? Hey, you lot! Trespassers! Think the curfew doesn't apply to you, huh? Uh-oh. Now what? Doesn't seem like there's any other way in. I say we fight our way through. Wait! I recognize them. They were with the dissident! No choice, then. Look sharp, everyone! Zephyr's still okay. The sooner we take care of these guys, the sooner we can rescue them. If you have time to talk, maybe you could focus on the task at hand? How about you stop telling us what to do? More with that Fall hero. back! Here I go! I'm only yeah. getting kicked the game to win, gentlemen! Yeah. 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 We're not finished! Yeah. 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 You're not even finished! Yeah. 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 There's just no end to these guys. Zephyr! Attention, citizens, subjects, and slaves of Cislodia. I, Lord Ganabelt Valkyris, do formally open these proceedings. Behold! The brazen worm who would dare threaten the peace and order of our fair city. 
As if his scheme weren't foolish enough, he then made the mistake of thinking he could hide it. Take heed, Danans, and engrave this edict into your souls. Such fools' right to life in Cislonia shall be forfeit. Now, Embedded, you should listen carefully. Before my final verdict, I am prepared to offer you an unprecedented chance at mercy. Where are your comrades? Give them up before those assembled, and I shall spare you your life. <laughs> Fine time I have. If you're so tremendously determined to suffer for the sake of your allies, then I will see to it that you do. everyone yet? Just what do you want me to say? <laughs> First, tell the people about the mistakes you made. Then, the whereabouts of your friends. <sighs> mistakes, huh? Where to start? I've made so many in my life that I've lost count. All my life I've had to fight, but I have known nothing but loss. I was so caught up in the struggle to survive in this world that I ended up neglecting my own family. I have lost so many good friends. I even lost my wife and my son. I'll never be able to fix these mistakes. Not a single one. It sounds to me as if the greatest mistake of your life was never learning to stay down when you were beaten. A good man once told me if I take up this fight, I'd have to pay a price. Turns out he was right. After all, the very people and things I was fighting to protect the most were payment. I don't regret keeping up the fight for a second. But still, not a single day goes by when I do not think about what I have lost. Not telling others how much they truly meant to me before it was too late. That is your answer. That's the greatest mistake of my life. Do yourselves a favor and never become like me. Don't continue to make the same mistakes until it's too late to fix them. Ask yourself what it is you couldn't bear to lose. What do you want to protect with all of your might? Then hold on and never let go! That's quite enough. <sighs> Listen to that voice deep inside of you. Together, no wall can hold you back. And the same goes for the ones the Lord made you build inside your own hearts! Such an idiot. 
My son, I need to... Now's not exactly the best time to catch up. And there's still a lord in need of beating. Yeah, you're right about that. So you're the son, are you? I thought I'd ordered for you to be relieved of your duties until all this was over. I'll see to it the person at fault is reprimanded appropriately. What? Oh, well. You've served your purpose more excellently than anyone could have hoped. <laughs> If it isn't the infamous Alphen of Calaglia. And he's joined by his fellow conspirators, the likes of Traitor and that Danon Witch. They're not conspirators. They're friends. <laughs> and they're not alone. Oh, Minnick! You finally made it! Your reign is over right now. Hear me, Canabelt? <sighs> the Master Corps is acting up. What is it? Uh, Menic? Hm. I was hoping to drag this out a little longer. But that's a Master Corps. What? <gasps> So the Master Corps react to each other, I see. How interesting. You can drop the act. It's over. All this time? It was really you? Every second. Stand before the Lord of Cislodia, Ganabelt Valkyrus in the flesh. You mean a Renan Lord's been leading the Dan Resistance? You're not the only one skilled in the art of deception, you know. A mere side vocation in my own case, but sufficient in bringing the blazing sword of Calaglia to my ghost. Me? All of this was just to get to me? Alvin! Zephyr is Dad! Dad! That's a special poison. Ordinary healing arts will do you no good. <laughs> I wouldn't fret about it, friends. You'll all be dead soon enough. Don't even think of escaping, dissident! We need to hurry. Otherwise, Phil, we're not getting out of here without a fight. No! No! Alvin? Time to let it rip! Trouble to buy yourself a few extra seconds before you die. <sighs> you bastard! <laughs> 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 hmm. 
They've fled. They'll be back, though. Draw up a welcome party. We'll be ready when they return. Did we lose them? Looks like it for now. Come on, even if we did lose them, they'll be after us soon enough. Besides, we have Zephyr to worry about. The sooner we get back to the safe house, the better. <laughs> Zephyr! Let's get to the safe house, quick. I'm here. I'm here, Dad. Please just... Oh, I can't see you. Are you there? Oh. Oh. Listen, I've always... I had a feeling we might have a rat among us. But to be menic of old people. So what do we do now? I'm going. Law. That bastard Ganabelt will pay. You have to know that Ganabelt will be expecting us. This is all an obvious trap. I don't give a damn if it is. There's no way I'm letting that bastard get away with this. It's right, you know. Ganabelt. Mess with the wrong people. Alfin, you can't just... Weren't you the one who said you wanted to take on the Lords? Or would you rather go back to Calaglia? I won't allow you to put words in my mouth. All I'm saying is we shouldn't rush things. I don't need any of you coming along. The score's mine to settle. You're not the only one who wants to avenge Zephyr's death. He's right. Besides, if we don't take him on right now, we may never get another opportunity. If you're going, that means you're going to need the Blazing Sword. If we do this, we can't afford to make any mistakes. Are you really sure? You can ask us again after we've defeated the Lord. Please, allow me to help you as well. Think of it as an apology for getting you into this whole mess. It's the least I can do. Feel free to use anything in here you might need. Aren't you worried about getting ambushed? Impossible. I built this hideout with my own two hands, Menek. No Ganabelt doesn't know it exists. Then let's go. Time to avenge Zephyr and free the realm's people.
I forgot to mention this before, but any enemies we go up against with real hard defenses, you just leave them to me. Hard defenses? You mean like enemies with shields and things like that? Shields, shells, armor, whatever. When you attack those kinds of enemies from the front, your blows mostly get blocked, right? Sure. So you're saying you have a counter? It's nothing fancy. Let's just say I have a knack for busting open tough, sturdy stuff. It's hard to explain, but I focus my energy and then hit a specific point with everything I've got. If I do it right, their defenses come crumbling down. Really? But without Astral Arts, how could you possibly... If he says he can do it, then he can do it. We can trust him. <sighs> Thanks, Alfin. Although, between you and me, right now there's nothing I want to bash in more than Ganabelt's stupid, smug face. I think you'll get your chance soon enough, Law. <laughs> <laughs>